Hola mi bella gente. Hey guys. So today is Wednesday and I decided that I would vlog my week because it's my last week in the United States which United States, which is actually crazy because I'm leaving for France this Sunday for eight months. I haven't really talked about it because I think I think the reason I haven't talked about it that much is because I'm quite nervous for it and it's going to be a big life change because I've never traveled abroad for that long in my entire life. So I'm like really freaking nervous. So I wanted to start the vlog specifically today because Claudia and I are doing a really cool project that we decided to do since it is Hispanic Heritage Month uh, from I think September 15th to about October 15th and since we are Hispanic, we are Latinas, we decided that we should do something special for it. So we bought a bunch of flowers. There's Shasta. Hi Shasta. She's kind of moody today. Um, but we bought a bunch of flowers from Hobby Lobby of all different colors. We have a lot of bright pinks. We have some oranges. We have some burnt oranges back here. We have some blues over there. And what we're trying to do is we're going to do a photo shoot. Okay, this could focus. We are going to be doing a photo shoot with these flowers. So the idea that I thought of is, of course, I love Frida Kahlo. Everyone nowadays loves Frida Kahlo, is inspired by her, by her art, by her life. And there she is. And she's known for having these beautiful flower arrangements on top of her head. And... I need to do more research on what exactly they stood for her, what they stood for, and what they meant, or if it was just for aesthetics, she just liked them, she, she just thought they were pretty. But either way, we decided to buy a bunch of fake flowers and we're going to make little flower arrangements for our heads. Is this an okay This is the disaster that we've made. Yay. She's like, bye. <laughs> so <laughs> this looks a pile of looks like a pile of poop. But I well we decided that we're no longer gonna be using the little where'd it go? This because we don't know if it's going to stick to the glue. The glue we thought would probably just fall off of this and stay on the flowers and they're just don't. And this would also be really uncomfortable to wear on your head. So, oh my God, I look like a man. So we decided that we are going to be, <laughs> we decided that we're gonna buy the little elastic headbands and then just glue the flowers to the headbands. And we thought that would be so much easier. What is that? <laughs> I know, that's what I was telling the vlog. I was like, it looks like a pile of poop. But I don't wanna arrange them right now. First, I'm gonna go buy uh, the little elastic thing and then I'm gonna glue it to the thing. And then I wanted to do something like this with like a little pile of flowers on my head. So I decided to use like this orange the pinks and I found these flowers that I didn't know I had so I'm just gonna arrange it kind of like that on the top of my head 
And then Claudia over here, she did this really pretty... <coughs> okay, I don't know what's going on over there. Hello. So she did like this bluish, green, pink, delicate looking situation, which is really cute. And then this is the other one, right? Yeah. So this is the one that she's going to do that's a little bit more, it's fuller. So she's using like the bigger flowers and like the little small ones, the small and blue the ones. So, Tony and I are actually going to go for dinner. We're going to one of my fa- <laughs> Hello. We're going to one of my favorite restaurants called La Madeleine. And it's like a French restaurant. And I'm so excited. But basically, I'm going to show you what I'm going to wear. And just to show you how I switched up my daytime outfit to a nighttime outfit. So, I just threw on this faux leather cream colored jacket i felt like it kind of like i don't know brought it into the nighttime and i'm also wearing these red mules which are from urban outfitters and when i first bought these they were so uncomfortable but now i feel like i broke them in and i love them I freaking love them. They have a tiny little heel and they're so comfortable and they're so cute. I love pairing these pop of red colored shoes with something that's very muted. So everything is very muted over here. And I just got like, boom, the red. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So yeah, he is on his way to get me and yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> Oh my god. Yummy! We're here! I'm very excited. <laughs> ooh, ooh, that was a nice shot. Mm. So, what did she say these were called? Oh yeah, strawberries. And I've been getting these since I was like 13. Since I was, I've come here with my mom. It's been that long. Are you talking to me? Yes. <laughs> this is the problem when you vlog with someone who doesn't vlog. They don't know if you're talking to them or if you're talking to the vlog. Your fans are your real friends. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, these are so good. They're like, I don't know what's on top. I think it has like alcohol in the sauce, but it's really good. And then we both got the same thing. I got chicken. Well, you got chicken in your pasta and I got no chicken because I'm trying to, you, got you know. Lemon. Yeah, I got a lemon I had in my ice. water and you got ice. So we're different after all. <laughs> we're not compatible. <laughs> oh my god, we are so French. Baguette. <laughs> Baguette. Mm. Wow, this is like my dream. If I were to be in heaven, there wouldn't be clouds, there would be bow tie pasta. It's like. I like angel hair. Oh, I like ang angel hair too. Angle hair? Angle hair. <laughs> mm, I love bow tie pasta. Please excuse the white on the rim of my mouth. Oh, I have freaking cold sores and it's like the worst thing in the world because it hurts and it's like 
it's stinging and it makes it hard to talk it makes it hard to to eat so i have them on both sides of my mouth <laughs> like the worst thing ever but I am at the gym right now and I'm gonna do some I'm not really sure what I want to do today I think I'm gonna be doing like some static what do they call it static cardio when you kind of just like walk on the treadmill at an incline so I think I'm gonna do that today because I did a very intense cardio workout yesterday so I think today I'm gonna do something not as crazy crazy i don't know but i still i still feel like i have the energy to do something crazy so i'm not sure but i think i'll just walk on the treadmill on an incline for like 20 minutes and then i kind of want to do back today um because i neglect my back a lot and i don't know i think i might do that i might do back and butt or something i'm not really sure or i might just do back today and butt but tomorrow we'll see we'll see but yeah so i'm at the gym i'm feeling good i had breakfast i had um i had oatmeal and i had a green tea which was really good so i think i'm gonna start doing that in the morning instead of having just water because i feel like green tea at least gives me a little bit of energy oh well you know what i mean that little boost that little kick in the butt so yeah, I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna do my workout. Hey guys, what's up? It's Claudia. So I got my hair cut today and I'm so happy. I love it so much. I really needed like something refreshing because my hair was crazy. But yeah, so basically I got a lob, so it's a little bit shorter in the back and then longer in the front. I also really hate that word. I don't know why. But yeah, I'm so happy. It's just like so, I don't know. I just feel so light and like whenever I shake my head, I don't, like it feels like I don't have hair in the back. I'm like, what? It's gone. Like it's totally gone. But yeah, I'm so happy. I feel so much better and like really cute and stylish. The guy who cut my hair, he styled it. He made it look so nice and yeah, it's awesome because tonight I'm going to a formal and I feel like this is going to be perfect. I just feel so good. But yeah, so Greta went shopping today. She went to Walgreens. Yes, yes. I did. And got I'm going to show stuff. them what I bought. Okay. So since we have our trip coming up, I needed to get a lot of stuff. So <laughs> what I got stuff. was floss. Because apparently it's hard to find this in France. I mean, I don't know if that's true. But I saw on the forum of the different people who are also going to France because of the same reason. They said that it's hard to find, like, floss like this, individual floss. So, yeah, I got some for myself. Those are also so nice to floss with. I hate flossing with normal floss because yeah. my fingers always turn purple. And yeah. I'm like, no. <laughs> And then it you hurts. get your fingers all gross and stuff. And I also got the um, the headbands Yay. for our flower crowns. So, Yay, I'm so yeah, I'm kind of sad to ruin these because they are quite nice. These were like the least nice that I could find. Um, They're so cute. Yeah. Yeah. You can so, buy some more. Yeah. So I bought these, and they have grips too, so that they don't slide around on your hair. And then I also bought this. I've been looking to buy this for so long. So it's a stay on satin cap. So basically I have a problem where I wash my hair and it looks great right after I wash it, right? And then the next day it gets really frizzy because of the friction between my hair and the pillow. Mm -hmm. So this is a bonnet basically, mm -hmm. like a satin bonnet that yeah. preserves your hairstyle. So you don't wake up the next morning and your hair's ruined. It just mm -hmm. looks the same. And I also got a wireless portable charger because I lost the one I had before. And that one was, that one was trash. Like it didn't, <laughs> it didn't charge my phone. And it was like plasticky and it was, it was kind of cracked too. 
So this one was not expensive since I have a Walgreens card. Um, it was like 50% off or something. I got a night cream. I don't have a night cream. I only have, I'm running out of my Origin. Origins one. So mm. I need something for the nighttime. I have a daytime cream that has SPF in it, but I can't put that on at night because it has SPF in it and there's no point. But I wanted to try this. It's so it's specifically for the nighttime. It fights wrinkles, firms, um, smoother, softer skin. Mm. So I'm gonna try this Cute. out. I didn't know L'Oreal had like a lot of skincare. Oh yeah, they do. I didn't know that. Really? I was surprised when I saw like that they had something for anti-wrinkle. I guess I've never really seen that. I also got extra thick hair elastic bands because I lose mine like crazy. And the hole is huge. <laughs> yeah. So mine always breaks. So this is for like super thick. This is the, they had thick and then they had extra thick. So I bought the extra she got thick. Extra thick. She's extra thick. Mm -hmm. And so the hole is really, really big, so it won't snap on you. And it's very elasticated, and I'm very excited Yay. because I lose mine all the time. So I'm just gonna keep these for. Hopefully, I don't lose these <laughs> all of the eight months. That you get to France, and they're all gone. I know. <laughs> wanted to be in my vlog, so here she is. Welcome to the vlog with Anne. <laughs> number one. Aw, so cute. And we are at this um, Korean barbecue place called, what's it called? Blossom Tree. Blossom Tree. It's in downtown Atlanta. Near Georgia State. Near Georgia State. So if you're ever in the Atlanta area, you should check it out. It's really popular. There's so many people here. So, I know. Really? Yeah. How often do you come here? A lot. <laughs> I treat myself every once really? in a while. Really? So. Okay. Well, yeah, so we're just hanging out um, before I leave the country, you know, forever. Not forever, for like eight months. But yeah. For like French people. Oh, yes. Yes, but we'll see if I enjoy it. Yeah. If I come back, I don't know if I'll come back. But yeah, so we're, we'll walk around afterwards. But we'll show you guys the food. Yeah, we'll show you the food. It'll be great. Mm. It looks so good. <laughs> done with the gym and oh my gosh <laughs> I didn't realize just how weak my back is I feel like I have neglected it so much that doing back exercises just makes me realize like oh girl you need to work on that girl okay so yeah, so that was really, really tough, really, really hard. So what I ended up doing, I tried to vlog in there, but there were too many people that I didn't want to get in trouble and have them tell me, like, you put your camera away. Um, so what I ended up doing was um, I walked on the treadmill for uh, 20 minutes. I did it on, like, 30 percent incline and like 3.5 speed um, I don't know if all treadmills are the same but that's what I did and that was a pretty good warm-up and then I just did arms from there on out I feel like I didn't do as many arm exercises as I wanted to because I just was 
really tired like my back is just so weak but it's okay because that's why I'm working it out I'm working it out so I can get stronger but um, when I was so for one of the back exercises I was doing like bent over rows so if you don't have if you have no idea what that is it's kind of like you just go to the bench um, and you just kind of bend over and you do like with a weight in your arm I don't know if I explained it very well. You like bend over and you pull up the weight and you pull it behind you, you pull it up, you pull it behind you. So when I was doing that, I noticed something that I have noticed previously when I'm at the gym, but I noticed it even more today because I was in the, I was right in front of the racks where all of the heavy weights are and all the benches are. And I noticed something. I noticed that one, I was the only woman, the only woman that was up at the front in front of the in front of the mirrors where the benches are, and all the other women were kind of outlining the outside of that area. Kind of like they seemed like they were afraid to go into where all the men were and they were afraid to go up to the front because they didn't want to be looked at like I mean this is just my thought I mean they maybe the, it just wasn't they just weren't working out that part of their body today I don't know I really don't know but it was just me and like one other girl was up at the front and every other woman was kind of like outlining the 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 benches and I was like why like okay I always get really frustrated when I go up at the front and then I feel like I'm being it's not even that I feel like I'm being stared at but I I just know I'm being stared at it's almost like I know you feel it's not really even an insecurity of mine anymore like I used to be very insecure going up to where all the men were and doing like the harder um, and heavier weights but like at first it was like I was insecure about it and now I just I'm very comfortable with doing that and I've noticed that I always get stared at and it gets it's just very frustrating because I'm like listen dude I am just working out my back I'm working on my arms just as you are we're no different and yeah maybe my weights are like 30 pounds lighter than yours like that doesn't mean you have to grimace at me or be like oh, give me that look where it's like oh so cute you know it's just it's just frustrating to me because why is that area res it's like almost like it's reserved for hefty heavy men and it's just like okay this is a gym we're all paying the same amount of money to be at this gym so we shouldn't feel insecure or scared to go up to the benches or go up to get maybe it's a lighter weight but go up to get a weight because it's like hindering our performance in a way where it's like I, I have in the past when I was insecure I did sometimes get too scared to go up to where the benches were and I would just skip that part of my workout because I just felt really intimidated and you shouldn't feel intimidated I don't know what I'm <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about I don't know what I'm trying to say but what I'm trying to say is I I mean, first of all, I didn't appreciate that I was being stared at and that they were kind of grimacing and looking at me like, oh, so cute, like you're, you're, you're lifting like a 12 pound weight, that's so cute, and I'm lifting a 50 pound. It's like, I don't freaking care, like you probably started out lifting a 10 pound, 5 pound weight when you were what, like a scrawny 14 year old boy. So. I didn't appreciate that and I, I don't want to sound like I'm like complaining but I just feel that we need to get over that or maybe it's just in my head I don't freaking know but yeah and then a second thing I just think us as women we shouldn't be afraid to go up to where the men are or to feel intimidated to go to the gym or feel intimidated to go to where the benches are just because there's like these hefty men there lifting weights like who cares we're all on a journey we're all trying to get healthier we're all trying to get fit we're all there for the same exact reasons so you shouldn't feel intimidated and 
yeah, that just made me think of that. I don't know why, but I just know a lot of my friends are very intimidated to go up to that area where the benches are and where the men are because it's not, it shouldn't be reserved for men. It's a woman's space as well as it is for men. It's for both as much as it is for either one. So yeah, do you girl, do you. If you want to go lift a five pound weight in the bench where the benches are, do it, okay? Because you know it's it's your space too, and like I just felt kind of like unwelcomed when I was there, and it was just not nice. It wasn't really nice. Hello. So it's a couple hours, <clears throat> many hours later. It's like five thirty right now, and I have decided that I'm gonna start packing. I know you're thinking, Greta, it's Thursday and you're flying out to France on Sunday. Why are you just now packing? Or you may think, wow, you're packing so early, go you. I feel like it depends on the type of person that you are, but I'm kind of like someone in the middle. I don't like to pack too early but i also don't like to pack way too late where i feel really anxious about it but i've started packing and i mean i don't have that much um packed at all but you know it's a start it's a start so as you can see i'm getting all of my very colorful knit sweaters out except for this one obviously and i'm gonna bring these along because i'm trying to be trendy af and bright neon colors like these are in right now and i've already had this i had these since last year so it's really cool that neon bright colors are coming into into trend they're coming into trend becoming trendy um so yeah so i'm gonna bring these this one's really cute it's like bubble sleeved and this one is from h&m asos and this is just like a scoop neck zara very thick material but i feel like i might need it for paris so i'm gonna bring it just in case <laughs> 